Right, with the House back in business, the Biden probes now are heating up. Earlier today, Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, he broke major news now claiming that Joe, the president, received $40,000 in, quote, China laundered money tied to a personal check from his brother Jim. Meanwhile, the House Judiciary Committee, they are launching a probe into the intel community's role in suppressing Biden corruption allegations in 2020, saying that America's intel community may have misled congressional investigators at the time by pretending that these corruption allegations were Russian disinformation. And of course, on Monday, Jim Jordan, James Comer, they launched a probe into the D.C. Attorney General's investigation of conservative judicial activist Leonard Leo, expressing their concern over quote, potential infringement on free association and donor privacy. All right, joining us now, along with Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, is House Judici Judiciary Committee Chair Jim Jordan, House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Jason Smith. Good to see you guys. Um, let me start. You, you had huge news today. Mm -hmm. And you actually went out with, I don't know if it was on video, I played it on audio and radio. Uh, yeah, look, we found another check to Joe Biden. That's what the media said that uh, they felt like this investigation needed to do to be successful, find a direct link between Joe Biden and his family's influence peddling. We've already proven that he met with all the people uh, that sent his family money. We've, we've proven that Joe Biden's lied countless times to the American people about his knowledge and involvement of his family's shady business dealings. We've proven the family had over 20 shell companies. We've had proven they've had all these bank accounts. Now we have enough bank accounts in, Sean, where we can actually trace the money back to the source. So we found the check to Joe Biden. This is the second check in a week. The first one was for 200000 This one was for 40000 But what's, what's most alarming about this $40,000 check, it traces directly back to China. It, it goes all the way back to that WhatsApp message that the Ways and Means the, Committee... The WhatsApp found. message is Hunter saying, I'm sitting here next to my father, yep. and we want to know why you didn't follow through on your commitment, and then threatening, um, well, between everybody he knows and my ability to hold a grudge, uh, that yep. there's going to be a shakedown. That one. Five days later, they wired $5 million. $5 million. So, but you found 40000 of that $5 million went to Joe directly? Yeah. From the $5 million, then Hunter got a fee of, of $400,000. And then it was laundered through three different Biden bank accounts to Joe Biden. Now, $40,000... Is 10% of $400,000. This is the CEFC deal. 10% for the big guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's 10%. Uh, 40000 is 10% of 400000 Speaker Johnson's going to be upset. He's not, not going to be called the big guy. I guess it's going to be Joe Biden. Yeah. You thought you got this new position, That's not right? The title I want. Yeah. No. But, you know, it, it's very concerning because the president told everyone in that debate that his family never took any money from China. They've taken millions from China, and now we have evidence that Joe Biden himself. Benefited. And this is in energy. And Hunter Biden did that interview with Good Morning America, and he said he had no experience in energy, oil, gas, uh, Ukraine, and certainly he didn't have any in China either. Right. And so $5 million in this particular wiring. And then we got the Burisma money. Uh, again, no experience uh, at a time where he admittedly was addicted to drugs. But here's what we know. Didn't Joe Biden, as a candidate and a president, repeatedly say he never once talked to his son, brother, or anybody, for that matter, about these foreign business deals? And didn't we, now don't we know that he was on phone calls with these business partners? I've never been to the Cafe Milano. Yeah. Wasn't he now? Don't we have dates and times and places meeting with the likes of Russian oligarchs and these shell corporations and nine Biden family members being paid? That's right. Phone calls, dinners, private meetings, uh, trips on Air Force Two. Now we have evidence that, uh, you know, he was involved in the money laundering. I mean, this family, the crimes that they've is it, committed... Is it, is, it is it just money laundering? Or what do you call it when you get paid for something... Well, if, if you like get, that, well, you, it looks Shout like it out if you know right, the answer. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And, and you know, the fact that they're trying to say everything's a loan, the two hundred fifty thousand dollar wire we found three weeks ago that was from China to Hunter Biden that listed Joe Biden's house as the as the beneficiary address. They said that was a loan. They said these last two checks to Joe's a loan. You're going to continue to hear the White House say loan, loan, loan as we continue to unveil more money. Uh, that, that's been floating around in the, the Biden sphere. Loans are a way to not pay taxes. Reasons for tax impeachment. Evasion. Aren't they bribery, high crimes, and misdemeanors? Yes. Are we, I'll ask the three of you, Chairman, 
And speaker, are we looking at potential Joe Biden was involved in bribery? I mean, they, they cannot explain what they did to get the money. Jim Jordan, let's talk about the latest developments sure. in your committee. Well, um, on one hand, you got the Department of Justice that said parents were terrorists, pro-life Catholics were extremists, and last week we learned they were spying on Capitol Hill staffers here, working uh, working on investigating them when they were doing the whole crossfire hurricane thing, not to mention the other things you, you brought up. So, and then on the other hand, you got the just, same Justice Department that slow walks the Hunter Biden investigation, um, that where, where David Weiss tells us different stories all the time. The White House can't get their story straight. And then really, I think that the example that tells it best is Burisma, because Joe Biden did all these things that Jamie, Jamie's focused on the bank records, the suspicious activity reports. Jason and his committee are looking at the whistleblowers who came forward, who, by the way, their story has not wavered. Their testimony has been tested, has been cross-examined, and it has stood up under all that. And then we're looking at the way the Justice Department handled the investigation uh, in, into Hunter Biden. But Burisma is the best example. Hunter Biden gets put on the board of Burisma, fact number one. Fact number two, he's not qualified to be on the board of Burisma. Fact number three, the head of uh, Burisma tell, ask Hunter Biden, can you help us relieve the pressure we are under from the Ukrainian prosecutor? Fact number four, Joe Biden does just that after Hunter Biden asked him to. He goes to Ukraine and gets the prosecutor fired. That is, I think, the most compact and compelling way you can tell this story, in addition to all the stuff that the whistleblowers have brought forward on the investigation and Jamie's uncovered in his so, committee. So he leveraged a billion taxpayer dollars. This is, what, four or five days after Joe Biden got on a call with Hunter and Burisma executives. They had a problem at the time. The problem was the prosecutor yep. investigating them, Victor Shokin. And then, lo and behold, you know, there, as a consequence, Joe gets the guy fired with our money, and then Hunter continues to get paid. Leverages our tax, American tax dollars, to yeah. get it done. They're in Dubai. Devin Archer, who we deposed, tells us they're in Dubai. The head of uh, Burisma asks him, can you weigh in? Can you help us? Hunter immediately calls his dad. Five days later, his dad, Joe Biden, then vice president, leverages American tax dollars to get the prosecutor fired. That all happened, and we have that from the deposition with Hunter Biden's business partner, Devin Archer. Let's go to the Ways and Means Committee, because you're, you're following a lot of the financial aspects around this. What is the latest? Of course. Just last month, we released over 700 additional pages that came from our two IRS whistleblowers. Are there more whistleblowers? It's the two that we're working on right now, but they continue to give us more information and confirm their testimony. As the liberal media attacks them, they want to defend themselves, and they've been providing the information. What we have learned is that Joe Biden was not just the brand that the fa that that they were using to sell all over the country, all over the world, but in fact, he was benefiting from selling it. One example is for um, the, the IRS whistleblowers claimed that they were going to investigate Joe Biden's campaign for a loan that Kevin Morris had done to pay more than $2 million worth of taxes of Hunter Biden's. And this happened at the beginning of the 2020 campaign, which would have been a huge, huge huge message in that campaign. But what did they do? The Justice Department, they wouldn't allow it. They said they had no interest in investigating the, the Biden campaign. Let me ask an exit question of all of you, and then I'll ask the entire room. But, but before I get to that, Congresswoman Nancy Mace, on your committee, you told me, Congresswoman, she thinks the Biden family, when all said and done, that they will have received, the nine family members, the shell corporations, the funneling, et, et, et cetera, uh, the money laundering involved in it, surrounding it, in excess north of 50 million, maybe more. Do you believe, do you believe that? That, I, I that, think... that family got that much money? Their own track. Including to, the grandkids? Their own track to, to uh, exceed that number. Uh, we're, and what we're did the grandkids do for the money? That we... Were they experts in oil? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> They weren't experts in anything. And to this day, they've never said what they did to receive the money. Now we have Jim Biden's bank records, and he was just as bad as Hunter. The only reason we don't know anything about Jim, he didn't leave a laptop lying around. So the question is, this is an... <laughs> well, not a lot of people do, actually. Um, <laughs> but are we really... Is this an impeachment inquiry, Mr. Speaker? Is this leading to impeachment? Do you believe that the evidence that they're accumulating in these th three committees 
is now leading to the ultimate impeachment in the House of Representatives of Joe Biden? Next to the declaration of war, impeachment is probably the most serious power that Congress has. We do not wield it for political purposes, but we are following the truth where it leads. And you hear the evidence, you hear this laid out and summarized. Of course, you know there's much more than what we're able to do in one segment. Uh, we're going to follow the truth where it leads because we have a constitutional responsibility to do so. We're on it and we're going to continue it. Let me scan the room. How many of you think that that's where this is headed? Please raise your hand. Wow. The whole room. Thank you all. I appreciate you being with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.